Hey guys! Today we're gonna talk about the statistics about your stream and the best way to capture them and figure them out. So, let's go. We have the daily statistics, the weekly statistics, and the viewer stat that are coming soon, so we're not gonna talk about that. Let's just start with the daily statistics. Here, with this week picker, we can actually pick the week, so we can do it like this, or we can um, just click on it. So let's, let's find the week where we actually have some data. There we go. So we have data here in week 23. Um, we can see here all the streams that we did. Also, they're separated for every stream and not every day. So you can actually check every stream, which is really cool. We can then click on it. We, get an, we then have the data of the stream right here. Um, this is the, the length of your stream. And this can vary a little bit by how consecutive you actually upload the data. How does the data get uploaded? Every five minutes the data is getting uploaded. I will show you guys how it's done. If we are here on our main website and we start stream, then here we put the input of the of the stream. You can write, read it here, write in this box briefly what your stream is about to later on analyze what your stream did, uh, if your why your stream did well or poorly. So you can actually then see a comment that is exactly here, the comment. Um, so you can tell what the stream is about because sometimes we don't put that in the title, right? But he did it and here we got the Fortnite crew. And then also what you can add is is it a props chess stream or not? Because this can absolutely change your data, right? So you can set that here to true or false. So you will have the data right here too. Then uh, we have a lot of information we can look through. We have the comments. This is gonna show you the last, com um, the, the amount of comments that were created in the last five minutes. So it's always gonna take the next five minutes, next five minutes, and then check how many comments have been created. So you guys can actually tell um, how many comments people have been saying. And we have the likes. Those are always just going up because they take the likes at, the, at the, this time point. We have the moments, same thing with that, same thing with shares. The unique gifts, they work as exactly as the comments. So we can see the last in the last five minutes there were two unique comments and so on and so on. Uh, unique gifts, sorry. Then for the views, we have the average. So you guys can tell what is the point um, where we have, we, we have the main crew in the stream. So we have the average views here. Of 21 this is after 45 minutes we have like all the people in the stream and then afterwards we can see a drop down where people are like okay it's enough for today um, we can see that then to, there too so you guys can compare that and find out what is the right time for you guys to stream down here we have a lot of information too um, there is normal information like the start time the end time the stream duration and then there is stuff that you guys can actually compare with the weekly average. So as an example, we have 23 we, uh, um, fans to stream. The average for this is 8. So that's an arrow up. We have the comments, 482. Comments, uh, the average is 218. And so on and so on. The middle part, this part here, this middle part here, these are inform additional informations. They don't have anything to do with this arrow, okay? This is very important. So, as an example, the maximum viewer count is 35. That is not compared with the weekly average view count, okay? The individual gifts per hour, likes per hour, these are just additional information. What is compared here is the first one with the last one. That's very important. Most important thing you need to know about this tutorial. Then here with the next button and the back button, we can browse through all the all this, um, all the data of this week rather than using this button up here because it's more handy. And that's it for the daily stats. Now let's look at the weekly stats. The weekly stats are also awesome to compare your data. Um, we have two kinds of, 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 of data right here. First one is the, the static data, which means um, they are not proportioned to the hour or average or stuff like that. It's literally flat um, data as we see on the YouNow page. So we can see likes, the stream in duration in minutes, um, the new fans, the comments, invites and so on. You can read this for yourself. Just click the buttons right here below to like see the data about it. Then here, we have the, the, the information about 
about the stream that is actually proportional. This is the stats, this is the data that I myself would use to compare my streams because we actually have a proportion. So as an example, let's say we have a five hour streams with a 500,000 likes. This is amazing, um, but it's still not as good as a stream that went an hour and had 150,000 likes because of the proportion, right? 500,000 would be 100,000 an hour um, and an hour with 150K is, is higher than that. So. What we have here is the average uh, viewers, so that is very interesting. How many average viewers do we have? How many fans do we have? How many comments? Um, how many invites per hour, individual chatters and likes. So this is it for now. There is still gonna come like additional weekly stats and additional viewer stats that you guys are gonna be looking forward, but there is a different tutorial for that than afterwards. Um, that's it for the statistics. I hope you enjoy it and you can analyze your streams. And yeah, um, yeah, I think that's it. All right, peace out.